Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, we have just had in a really nice Atari 2600 collection, or Atari VCS, depending on how you know it. And we're going to have a look at all the games. So let's get started with everyone's least favourite, uh, E.T. Uh, of course, a lot of people know this as the, one of the world's worst games. Personally, I disagree I do have this game. Yes, it is bad, um, but I don't really think it's the worst ever made. I think there's a lot more worse games out there, I suppose. Artwork, really nice. Paul of Ovine, though, means ouch. Uh, E.T. is lost on Earth and wants to get home. Help him build an interplanetary telephone to call for assistance before his energy runs out. Um, yeah, so basically he wandered about, did some various different collectible item things, got attacked by government people and scientists. Um, Elliot would resurrect you occasionally. Yeah, it was a bit buggy, used to fall in pits a lot, but overall, I personally don't think it's as bad as people say. Cosmic Arc, this has a bit of a Close Encounters of the Third Kind vibe to it. I haven't played this one, but it looks like you're sort of a UFO uh, and you have to stop various things. You're the captain of the awesome Cosmic Arc Racing to bring creatures from distant planets. Um, yeah, Alien Blaster. Great artwork. I like the little uh, zoomy thing there, that's cool. Trick Shot. It is Snooker or Paul. I don't really know the difference between the two. I'm not a very sporty person. Yeah, hit the balls around. Pretty, pretty standard, to be honest. Demon Attack. This has some great artwork. Look at that. That's like a crazy T-Rex with a jet strapped to his back and rockets everywhere. That looks amazing. This one looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having a go on this one. Um, yeah. Of course, I say it looks pretty cool. It's an Atari game, but... <laughs> Um, devastating waves of cosmic creatures attack from above, blast them with your laser cannons. Pretty generic alien blasty blast time. This one looks a bit spooky. Uh, fathom, it looks like a creepy, uh, possessed mermaid uh, in jail. I mean, w what's better than that, let's be honest? Oh, it is a little mermaid thingy. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, free Neptune's daughter by finding missing pieces of the trident. Okay. That's, uh, that's interesting. That might be an interesting play. Wouldn't mind having a look at that. This one caught my eye. Um, <laughs> plaque attack. Most people have been there. Um, the sticker's, I don't like the sticker on the front of it. It ruins the sort of box because it's a very nice box overall. These are very nice. Uh, well, I say that. It's a bit enough at the top. But yeah, the, the artworks are very strange. <laughs> I want to know who thought this was a good idea for a game. It looks like you're a tube of toothpaste and you shoot teeth. I mean, that, that's just perfection right there. Steve Cartwright, you're, you're amazing. And I want to see more games from you. Skydiver. Uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You're a man. Oh, there's no pictures on the back. That's a shame. Uh, use the joystick controllers with this game program. Hold your controller with the red button to your upper left towards it. That doesn't really say anything. Uh, I'm assuming you just skydive from a plane. Master the Stars in Star Master International Edition. Um, the artwork on this isn't great. Uh, it's pretty poor for Atari standards. I normally like the nice artwork that they show, but it's a little bit basic, I suppose compared to a lot of others. Um, and again, on the back, it doesn't really say very much. Um, again, some sort of alien game more than anything else. A spacey game. If you're over the age of 30 and you have never heard of Centipede, then you've been living under a rock, under a rock, in all honesty. Uh, it's a classic. Centipede goes through little things and you should do it from the bottom. Really cool. Look at that family there. They look very happy. The daughter looks really shocked. How lovely. But yeah, centipede. Ah, oh, what's great. There's a little goblin on the front who's shooting at um, <laughs> some weird thing with some Mickey Mouse hands. Oh, I don't know. Demons to Diamonds. I don't know this one. 
uh, one or two players. It's like one of the ones where you have like six different video games in it. Um, you're in the demon shooting gallery where the targets disappear, change form and sometimes shoot back. Hit a demon of your own colour and you get a shot at a diamond. Hit a different demon and a grim stone skull will get a shot at you. Oh, okay. That looks, um, that looks interesting. Reactor. This is a very nice box on this one. Arcade game series. Uh, there's a very nice box on this. Uh, again, the artwork's a little bit naff. But it's one of the boxes that you take off the the top of it instead of a openy tab one. Uh, your ship is trapped inside the heart of a nuclear reactor. A reactor whose core is rapidly approaching that down. So you basically have to sort of, I'm assuming, save the reactor from exploding onto you and blowing you up, really. Riddle of the Sphinx. There is the Sphinx. And here is the riddle. Um, yeah, I, I've heard of this one, never played it personally. Mystery and Danger accompany you on your journey across Egypt's Valley of Kings. A flaming pharaoh basically tries to kill you. And there are some camels and a scorpion. And a nuclear bomb has gone off here. And there's a mushroom cloud. Vanguard's a good one. That's a bit of a old school classic. Artwork again, very good. Uh, join the Vanguard expedition on a thrilling space odyssey through perilous tunnels. You'll fight your way to the fabulous city of mystery and the great Gond. <laughs> and the great Gond features four-way firing for one or four players. Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, one of the earliest games to have a tie-in with a movie. Uh, of course, Indiana Jones, everyone knows Raiders of the Lost Ark. When it first came out, it was very well received. Um, yeah... Basically plays Indiana Jones and you get zapped up by aliens or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool. It's a good one. I recommend uh, Raid of the Lost Ark. Berserk. Uh, I don't know this one. This is a, an unusual one to me. Uh, a lot of people might know it. I don't know. But I was born in 1996, so these are a little bit before my time. Uh, oh, what's pretty cool. Exploding alien. A man with some amazing hair. Firing at it. Look at that little bowl cut there. That's amazing, that parting as well. That's really good. He's wearing some very tight trousers as well. Um, you are a prisoner on an alien planet made up of mazes, robot gangs, and evil Otto are in pursuit. Ro oh. <laughs> you are a prisoner on an alien planet made up of mazes, robot gangs, and evil Otto are in pursuit. Eliminate the robots, escape the maze, and score. There's the game. So what's an evil Otto? I like the little smiley face. There he is. He looks so happy to be there. Patrol the moon in Moon Patrol. Uh, it doesn't really look like them. I mean, it looks more like Mars, to be honest. But you're getting shot by a flying saucer. You're driving around. Um, here's that picture of the, the happy family again, look. How lovely. Hop into your moon buggy and leap over huge craters and landmines, explode lunar boulders, battle UFOs, alien tanks, and low-riding land rockets for one or two players. Again, a pretty generic spacey one. Space themes were very big in the mid to late 70s. Of course, the moon landings were going on uh, in the late 60s, and I think it sort of carried over into sci-fi with Star Wars and everything as well. So it was a very popular theme. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, falls from a building, lands on a van. Um, yeah, Spider-Man on the 2600. Green Goblin there, firing things, uh, breaking the web and Spider-Man. So it's not really, a, a, it's a very cliffhangery cover, I think. Spider-Man is falling to his doom. What will happen next? Only you can save him. And this is upside down. <laughs> Let's go like that. Anyway, so it looks like you're Spider-Man. You climb up in them buildings, you swing around the place. Um... It's got to be on the same level as the PS4 Spider-Man easily. I mean, graphics-wise, look at it. It's pure beauty. The Goblin's time bombs are ticking away and its deadly super bombs are set up in at the top of a high-voltage tower. So you basically have to stop some bombs from going off. Pitfall. Uh, if you've never seen the advert uh, for this game, uh, a young Jack Black was in it in, I think, the early 80s. Uh, Jack Black was in the advert for this. It was pretty cool. I can't remember, I think it's Pitfall Harry. Yes, yeah, Pitfall Harry. You're basically an explorer. 
you go through the jungle fighting alligators and well, crocodiles and various different things and you swing across the place. It's a fun old game. Yars Revenge. If you haven't heard of this one, very good game. It's a shame there's a massive sticker on the front of it. Yeah, it's a really good one. I have this one in my personal collection. Firefighter. Literally a fire engine on fire. Not really the greatest uh, front cover to your game. But you're a fire engine. You fight the fires that happen in the towers. Pretty straightforward stuff. Indy 500. Uh, racing game. Pretty generic racing from Atari. It's pretty straightforward, of course. You race around a track. Hence why it's called the Indy 500. Sky Skipper. I don't know this one, but it looks pretty interesting. It looks like something that you'd see after taking a lot of mushrooms. Um, yeah. I would assume you sort of go through the sky and skip. I don't know. It's a high-flying, action-packed adventure. You are the pilot chosen for this most unusual mission to rescue the animals held captive by the dangerous gorillas. Animals held captive by animals. It's very animal farming. But it won't be easy. You'll have to pilot your plane through all kinds of flying hazards to make matters, wor ver to make matters worse. There we go. You only have a limited amount of fuel to accomplish your mission. Can you save the animals in time? That looks pretty interesting. I wouldn't mind having a go on that. Video chess. That's all I've got to say about that. Chopper Command. I'm assuming you are a helicopter and you shoot down planes. Spider Fighter. When you are a fighter of spiders. I'm guessing that's what it is. Conceived and designed by Larry Miller. Breakout. If you've never played Breakout, where have you been? It's a great game. Uh, I believe the original Breakout arcade was designed by Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs. Uh, who, of course, both went on to found Apple. Atari did have a lot of uh, influence over technology in general in the early days. A lot of people fell out of Atari's uh, company, shall we say, after it went a little bit iffy in the 80s. But yeah, that's a cool one. Pretty straightforward. Dodge him. Um, this... <laughs> I want everyone to style themselves like this. He looks incredible. The goggles and the moustache just complete it, don't they? Yeah, Dodgems in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, pretty much. I'm guessing there's not really anything on the back. I'm guessing it's a racing game. It looks... Well, if you're actually in Dodgems, it looks like a lot of fun. Don't know how much fun it would be actually playing it. <laughs> It's just that face. Just the pair of them. Uh, endless joy. Haunted House. This one was always popular for the artwork on the front of it. A very off-putting, shall we say. A spider, a bat, two eyes and more bats. That one's nice. Haunted House is a good one. You are stumbling around in a dark and dusty haunted mansion to escape and find the pieces of the magic urn. Can encounter giant hairy tarantulas, vampire bats, and a menacing ghost. Can you find the urn and escape the mansion before you get scared to death? It wasn't really scary, but it was a house, so there's that. Street Racer, not to be confused with Speed Racer, which is a completely different thing. A lot of bikes, a lot of cars, a racing game. Ooh, a bit sun damaged on the back, which is a shame, but. Pretty straightforward, I'm guessing. It's a racing game. What more could you want? The first of the Star Wars games to come in this bundle. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Artwork's very cool. It looks very um sort of sort of early days prototype artwork for the actual film, which is very nice. I like the sort of the Atats sort of more squished head. It's quite interesting. And um, that's upside down. You basically play through the film. It's a lot of Hoth stuff. Take down as many Atats as possible. Pac-Man on the Atari. This was not well received when it originally came out because it was very different from the original uh, arcade game. Very different indeed. There is a picture on the back. You can see the difference. You know, where's the black and blue colour scheme? It's blue and red and the, the little ghosts look different and Pac-Man looks different. It just wasn't as well polished. Um, and there's a bit of a story behind Miss Pac-Man where some 
college students, I suppose you could call them, redesigned the game so it was a bit similar to the original. And that's sort of how Miss Pac-Man was made. And that was a lot better received overall. But Pac-Man in general, the, the cartridge for Atari 2600, not a very good game at all. It was, it was a bit disappointing for many. It is not Star Wars, it is Space War. Evidently someone's cashing in there. Oh, this man's shoulder shoulder thingies look amazing. He looks really good. It looks a bit like a young Michael Caine. Young space Michael Caine fights in space war. Um, yeah, another spacey sci-fi one. Sci-fi was very big in the 70s and 80s. Space Invaders. A lot of people will recognise this one. Very, very iconic. And, of course, the game itself. Your little thing at the bottom. You shoot the invaders from space. Pretty straightforward. Kill the aliens, win the game. Superman, special edition. I have not played this one, 1979. Um, yeah, it looks pretty interesting, actually. I wouldn't mind seeing how this plays. There's no picture on the back. There is a bit of a, a description. Superman, Clark Kent, Lois Lane, Ex Luthor, and his henchmen. All the original Superman characters in an authentic setting, including Metropolis, the Daily Planet, and Kryptonite. And Kryptonite, that's not a setting. Provides an exciting game where only you as Superman can restore law and order to Metropolis. I don't know what that one's like, but I wouldn't mind giving it a go and seeing how it plays and how it looks. It's a shame there's no picture on the back, so we can't see it, but if you do want me to sort of have a go at it and do a video on it, then I'd be interested in that. Star Wars Jedi Arena, the second Star Wars game that we have in this bundle. Uh, you're basically a lightsaber, you have to fight off a ball that shoots lightning at you, win, and you become a Jedi Master. It can be a two-player game, I believe. There is a red and a blue lightsaber. That one is a little bit of fun, actually. I've played this one before. Um, I quite enjoy it. It's better two-player, of course, but yeah, I recommend that. There's Luke Skywalker. What a chin. What a man. The Wizard of War. War. <laughs> um, someone's cashing in on Pac-Man, aren't they? Yeah, based on the real arcade game. Look, It's basically a Pac-Man. Out with the wizard. Shoot the wizard or something, I don't know. To survive the first dungeon, you must outshoot and vaporise all the Burr Wars. Next, destroy every visible and invisible Gar War and Thor War or be eaten alive. 1981, Bally Midway. Yeah, I haven't played that one. Looks interesting, bit Pac Man y. Outlaw, you are two cowboys who shoot at each other. Um, that's about it. There's a little wagon there, that's cool. Yeah, you shoot at each other, two player game. A lot of fun. I recommend it. And finally, in a slightly tatty box at the top, we have Dig Dug. Dig Dug is a great, great game. A little bit of ahead of its time, personally, I'd say. Really a lot of fun. <laughs> they are again, look. So happy. Um, you dig down into the dirt. There are little monsters flying around that try and kill you. A lot of fun. If you've never played it, it's a really good one. So there you have it. Those are all the Atari games that we've had in, in that collection. A lot of nice stuff. The E.T. in particular appeals to me, boxed. It's not often you see a boxed one or even a loose one for that matter. A lot of nice stuff all around. Really good bundle all together. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you again soon on the channel. Bye.